In this video, learn how to make an easy, quick, and highly profitable stock trade by reading the tape. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafuri, co-founder of SMB Capital, and we're a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm also the author of the trading classic, One Good Trade, and The Playbook. Click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that we're producing for you in the trading community. See how a junior trader uses his tape reading skills to spot, execute, and profit on a quick trade in a hot stock. Let's get to work. I'm just gonna show you guys tape. Just a little bit of context here. Um, uh, the tape that I'm showing you is the open for American Airlines. Um, and it's gapping up on this day 16%, as you can see up here in the top left. The idea was to see if we could get a failure uh, back into the pre-market range because we had a really big push up in the pre-market that seemed pretty obviously extended. and. Um, and so we were looking for a potential morning drive to the downside, ideally. So um, I'll go ahead and push up the tape here. So you can see here, um, AL pushes into the 79, large offer here. Um, and as you guys can see, if I scroll down to my montage at the bottom of it, there's a 257 guy and there's some more size that we're gonna see here in a sec um, pop up. So you guys can see he's sitting here at 89 and 88. Uh, on NASDAQ, obviously he's pretty big. So, um, you know, we just made a bit of a move up as soon as the open started. Now we're starting to get hammered back down. A good place to be shorting against this guy. You can now see a little bit of a bid here at 82. As soon as 82 decrements, it's gonna be a good spot to be, to be getting short. That shows that the bid can't hold. So again, you can see here this guy that was selling at 88 that we had mentioned in the beginning now is selling at 84. Now watch this guy now, he's at 80. He's stepping down. You can see so we have some bids down at 60 here, some a little bit of support down there. Probably want to be bidding out some if you got that short up there. You can see again, he's still sitting here at 1680. So I mean you should be offering out in front of 79. Um, so now, can you just stop the tape for a second? So let's talk about stock selection. What gets you to be looking at this stock on this particular day, at this particular time? Yeah, that's a good question. So, you know, um, generally, if you're looking for a tape trade in the morning, you want to see momentum. You want to see break of offers, break of bid. So how can we find that? Well, we generally can find momentum in stocks that are having large gaps, you know, because generally they, they want to fill the gap one direction or another. People want to readjust their positions. Um, and so we can spot where some guys are, are, um, are, are trying to get in or trying to get out of the name. And especially what's key here, it's, it's gapping up a lot and it's going into SSR. So that to us is um, a key factor in this, in this stock selection because we like SSR. We want to see somebody that's stuck, you know, in their position, they what they need to get out. Um, and, uh, and of course, AL is an in-play momentum name. Arval is 25 at the open. I mean, so when you say SSR, what do you mean by that? Well, it basically means you can only short on an uptick, meaning um, you can't be selling on a downtick. So um, that puts people in, in a situation where as soon as the stock starts going down, you start seeing a little bit more panic. You're going to see offers stack because people are going to want to get out. They can only sell on the offer. So um, it puts them in a tough situation for the exit. Okay, and in terms of when you're preparing for this on, on your charts, what do you think about where this is on our daily charts, our medium term charts that gets you interested in this stock? Yeah, that's a good question. So, um, you know, again, with a 16% up move, obviously I'm not showing you guys a chart here, you can imagine that there's a big gap in the chart and that's exactly what's happening in this situation is um, we had a parabolic move on AAL because there was, you know, it's coming off with lows, shorts were getting squeezed, um, and as soon as we had that parabolic move to the upside, we started seeing um, some selling pressure, obviously. Um, and so we would gap down a lot and then we would start gapping up a lot. I mean, there was a lot of movement in the name. So the daily, and you know, as a good way to put it, it has a wide range right now. If you want to learn three real world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right hand corner of your screen. 
That's gonna open up this free registration page in the new window. So don't worry, you're not gonna lose this video. You're gonna learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. And so now we're gonna look at the tape because we've selected a good stock to trade and we're gonna practice our scalping and our momentum trading. We pushed up, we opened at 82, 16.82. So um, we made a move up off the open like we saw, we saw on the tape there and now we're bo back below the opening print. So we're back below the opening print, we're watching some offer stack. We had him at 80, now we're seeing him at 72. Um, we even saw him at 84, so we're gonna follow this guy. And look, now he's stacking even more at 72. Uh, I mean, this is key right here. Now we're seeing some, you know, some real selling pressure here. Now people are front running 72. Again, now he's stepping down to six, seven. He's trying to get out. And then if I can cut in, what's the significant to you of this being below the opening print? Well, when you have a stock gapping up a lot, obviously we wanna use some important inflection points, but when you have a wide range on the daily, um, a good way to determine if a stock is strong or weak, um, especially on a gap up, is to determine whether the stock is, op is above or below the opening print, because that just generally shows you whether the buyers or sellers were in control since the open. Um, obviously you can use VWAP, but I mean, this uh, it, it's a good metric when things are moving fast and VWAP hasn't really been established yet. Okay, great, thank you. Back to the tape. So 59 stacking, 58 stacking, he's stepping down to 57 now. Stepping down to 56, 55. And you can see, and he's stacking the whole way, and he's trying to get out. So you can see here now, there's a guy stacking at 42, but let's uh, let's watch now. The low is 40. I have it here on my on my level one. It shows me the low. So as the low gets pierced, let's kind of see how the tape is starting to react. It speeds up. We start seeing some held bids. And what I mean by that is that we, what we're starting to see is, is um, bids staying there for more time than we're expecting for the amount of volume we're doing. And generally, that tells us there's probably a hidden order there or something that's kind of you know holding up that price. So again, we're pushing new lows here with 16.25. 16.25 is holding. We start seeing these offers at 27. So remember, we're looking for an exit signal at this point. Now we're we're you know at 16.20, uh, 25, and we opened up you know at 16.82. So um, we're pretty extended from the high. We're pretty extended from the open uh, for such a quick move. What we want to see here down as this stock gets lower is we want to see for a potential large large bid to start holding us or a held bid to start holding us up. And then for confirmation of that of, of that bid, we want to see an offer above that held bid that gets cracked and breaks to the upside. That tells us that those sellers couldn't hold it down anymore. So again, we're still seeing that seller there on edge X. At, at, he's still 130 now. So you can see now all those offers there completely pulled. Uh, we put in a low there of 16.15. I can see on my level one there, we see 16.15 is the low. And now we're 10 cents off the low. We just saw some massive offers get completely sweeped out. Now I'm, I, I wanna be out of my momentum, my momentum short at this point. You can see this is uh, the, end of the, the end of the move there, actually. Um, and that ends up being the low for, uh, for quite some time. Okay, good. A couple of points about this. When you're starting off as a trader, a couple of, t of very easy strategies to learn is scalping and momentum trading. And you're going to see people all over Twitter tell you you can't make a lot of money scalping and momentum trading. I would just say, if you want to, we won't actually really do this, um, but if you want to see Swang's p &L, you're welcome to come over and actually take a look at it. Again, we're not actually really going to show it to you. My point is, there are people that make more than $5 million a year in a year like this who are momentum trading and scalping. Don't let anyone tell you that that's not a way to make a lot of money. But taking a half a step back from that, when you're thinking about developing as a trader, when you're thinking about starting as a trader, you want to think about the right way to do it. You want to think about building skills 
so you can build a career. Learning how to read the tape, learning how to scout, learning how to momentum trade is a very valuable way to, they're very valuable skills and uh, it's, a, it's an important way that you can learn how to trade at the beginning. It's a little bit easier to understand. It's a little bit easier to explain very worthwhile way to start going about trading. There are going to be some people who, after they scalp and then momentum trade, find that that's not the best type of trading for them, and that's fine. This is a journey. This is a process. You shouldn't think all you're going to do as a trader is learn one strategy, and that's going to be make it or break it for you as a trader. You should be prepared to develop some range and experiment with different types of trading. But really good way to, to start your career as a, as a new and developing trader, really good way to build skills for any type of trader that you become. Like, so let's say that you decide you don't want to be a scalper or a momentum trader, you want to be a swing trader. Well, your scalping, your momentum trading, your tape reading skills will help you to build really good swing positions at better prices and exit at better prices as well. Uh, it'll help you to get bigger at spots. It'll help you to cut risk, uh, even with your big picture swing trades. So Shark is gonna make a lot of bigger picture swing trades, but use his swing trade, use his scalping, his tape reading, his momentum trading skills to put on his bigger picture trades and make cash flow while he's in the middle of it and cut his risk while he's in the middle of it. And so very effective for swing traders as well. I'd also say that markets change. There are different market regimes. When volatility is elevated, there are going to be a lot of swing traders who sit around and complain about the market and struggle in the market because of the volatility. Whereas if you have really good momentum trading skills, when volatility is really elevated, you'll clean up. You'll do really well. And even if you're not first a momentum trader and you're more of a swing trader, when volatility uh, spikes, you may want to, for a short period of time, go back to your momentum trading, even if you're a swing trader, because the opportunity is, is so large for that. And so, you know, good to have these skills right now. And, you know, we just recently hit another pocket where volatility spiked. And you can see even some of our swing traders do some more momentum trading. And so, and then the other thing is, what I really like about what Nano does here is this is a great exercise to get better at your tape reading skills, which is you record your screens and then you go back and you watch for the significant moments that caused stocks to make big moves in one direction. And then you find what's significant on the tape. And so you, know, you might look at the tape for four hours in one particular day and there only might be uh, 10 minutes that really cause you to get super interested. But in that 10 minutes, you could really clean up. You can really make a lot of money if you're focused. Um, and, and the other thing, and we'll talk about this a little bit later on one of the reviews, is that I really like for you guys, as best as you can, to take the recorded video of reading the tape, like Nano does here, and embed that into your playbook trades. One thing to have a playbook trade, another thing to have a playbook trade with also recorded tape that we can watch of the trade of reading the tape to put that into your playbook for certain types of trades. And so if in one of your playbook trades, the tape is particularly significant to embed that into your playbook trade makes that even better. So, you know, for the market we're in right now, scalping momentum trading is very opportunistic, particularly in the airlines, the cruise lines, some of the hotel names. Now I think you're doing a lot of 
scalping and momentum trading in those names right now. Yeah, that's right. I am. And I think a lot of other people are as well. And so, look, if volatility goes back to 12, the VIX goes back to 12, we will not put as much emphasis on momentum trading and reading the tape. We may use it more for entry and for exit and, and not as much for what, you're, what you did here, which is almost a signal, almost a catalyst for the trade. Almost using the tape in of it, you know, you did a good job of stock selection. You did a good job understanding where the stock was in the overall daily chart. But then, you know, the catalyst is almost becoming unusual information from the level two, from reading the tape that you can follow. And you did. And, you know, can make a, a good, nice little chop and move on to your next particular trade. Uh, so for the younger guys, record your screens. Do a good job like Nano does right here by making videos like this so we can all learn from and you know, pass them around. That's why we do these 12-30 sessions and, and, and build those skills. They're, they're super, super important to becoming a trader. It's not going to be the only thing that we use to make trade decisions. We're, we're not going to sit here and say, we're going to build a trading career by you noticing a large offer. You're going to build a trading career by noticing a big bid. What we are going to do is say, when a stock is really in play, and when the market, and or if the market is pretty volatile, there's going to be money to be made by noticing these abnormalities, these, this un, these unusual orders, this unusual order flow, from reading the tape, which you can take advantage of and and you can make money on. And so I wrote about this in one of the books I wrote, which is that when you do make a lot of money in plays like this and you get paid and you take your check to the bank, they're not gonna say to you, we can't cash this check because you made it reading the tape. They're gonna cash the check. This is a way that people really can clean up as traders. So we'll spend some more time developing these skills. We'll spend some more time working on it. Good example right here from reading the tape uh, that, that we can learn from. Appreciate your, uh, your video here, Nano. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll, we'll let you get back to trading. Thank you, yeah, okay. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they're producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comments section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video from all of us at SMB. Train and trade well.